this third degree burn on the 60, uh, 64 third degree burn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chaos searing Lord, Lord of Flames. Keep fighting the chaos that lives inside me Trying to hold down the beast But it's hard to do that Because everybody angers me And triggers it I live in this world This uh, Kansas City uh, City What is up, my arch fiends of chaos? Your king of the night, Vincent Valentine, EX Turk, and I'm tired as fuck. So, I'm probably not gonna be able to stream, so I'm gonna bring you another Coliseum battle! This time with two different fighting, well, well fighting anime or game franchise, whatever, which is another thing. Now, we're gonna be taking Dragon Ball Z versus Tekken. And the two characters we're going to be taking up was going to be the Mighty Destroyer, the Ogre, from Tekken 3, versus the super powerful, pretty much ultimate mega android, Cell. Now, we're going to be using their final forms, okay? So, we're going to be using their attacks on their final forms, instead of, you know... And remember, this; these are for fun, so do not get mad at the results. Like I had to say usual. So let's start off with Ogre. Since we're going to be using true Ogre instead of regular Ogre. Since this is their final forms. Pretty much he turns the whole place into darkness. He can use. He, you know he he's pretty. He, he's super strong because how big he is. Plus he, he eats his enemies. He eats his enemies and becomes even stronger. In order to even get too close to close to Cell's power, at least a little close to Cell's power for Ogre, Ogre, true Ogre would have to eat Jin Kazama, Haihachi, and Kazuya at once just to get to the power level of a Saiyan. So obviously he's gonna be a little outmatched. So we're just gonna go ahead and add those kind of power factors with Ogre just to make it more, you know, just to make it more fair with the what's going on. So you know, just to make it more fair for what's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and multiply Jin Kazama's power with Kazuya and Haihachi. So let's just say Ogre beat all three of them and ate all three of them. Okay, minus uh, Kazumi because you know um, there's only two there's only two games Ogres in, and that's the tag games and Tekken three. You know I think he might be in six. I don't know. I can't remember. I gotta go back and play six. But you know he's a, he's in one of those. But um, so we had to take the multiplied powers of that as well. So he'd be able to use some of the devil gene and make himself even more powerful than he already is so i think this would be at least a good battle now so but pretty much true ogre's abilities he turns the whole world to darkness his whole field of darkness and he can come from the shadows he can he can strike you from from any distance anywhere and he you know and he can eat his opponents you know pretty much and get stronger so, now to Perfect Cell. Cell, if you watch Dragon Ball Z, you know who Cell is. But for those who don't watch any Dragon Ball Z or know anything of DBZ lore, uh, Cell is pretty much the combination of all the Z, all the best Z warriors. Such as the Saiyans like Vegeta, Goku, Raditz, and Nappa. And then, you know, Namek, Namek's like Piccolo, so he can regenerate and use intelligence. Also, he has, I think he has a few human cells. I think he has like, T, I think he has Tien and Krillin. He, he has Tien and Krillin. And also he has, he also has cells from Frieza and King Cold. And that's just not only Perfect Cell's power. Perfect Cell, it, it, Perfect Cell has the powers of both Android 18 and 17, and Android 18 and 17 were stronger than regular Super Saiyan. So add both of that, he'd pretty much be at the level of at least Super Saiyan Grade 3. On, uh, at least close to Grade 3, because remember, Trunks outclassed him. Trunks was just too bulky to beat him. So add that to, add that into the continue, uh, with Cell. So Cell has and both androids' is power with all the best Z fighters. So, he could use all their abilities as well, which is going to be very troublous, 
which could be very troublesome for Ogre. Uh, way more troublesome for Ogre. So, now, we're going to be talking about attacks and attack strength. Obviously, since Cell has all that power mixed together, even with the, even with the Kazu with, with the Mish Mishima family uh, e eaten by Ogre, is not going to be even enough to even go to. E it's just going to get at least a little bit close to second form Cell, but not all the way there. Even with Devil Trigger, he'll he'll be at least regular perfect Cell. At least if 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 um, Ogre was able to use Devil Trigger using you know the power of the Mishima family. Now, however, I'd say Cell would be still stronger. When it comes to speed, I'd have to give it to Cell because we've seen Cell fly at a high kilometers, and since he has the cells of all those best Z Warriors, and and Sans can can fly super fast, you know. To fly, kid, to fly super fast, you know, Cell would be extremely faster based off of that. Now, when it comes to magical abilities, I'd have to count Key in this. I'd have to give it to Cell. Sure, it'd be hard as hell for Cell to see in the darkness, but remember, remember, Cell could sense energy because Cell has all the Z fighters. I think I made a death battle that was kind of. Too easy and too cheap. But, you know, let's just say Ogre could compress his energy. Even if Ogre was able to take off Cell's limbs, as, as long as there's one remaining piece of Cell in Cell, and we're going to go by the anime, not the manga, so, so you know... So, because the in a manga it says, you know, if the thing in his head's blown up, he's gone for good, which was kind of, you know... Which, let's be quite honest, is kind of like, you know, a manga fallacy. So they changed it in the anime. So we're going to go by the anime for Cell's evolution. So we're going to, you know, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be pretty much going with the anime. So was, even if he was able to evaporate his body using a uh, big strong blast. Remember, Cell can regenerate, and Cell gets stronger because of the sand cells. After he regenerates, uh, and for what we've seen in Super oh, and Cell, uh, Super Perfect Cell, Cell, Super Perfect Cell is at least up to Super Saiyan 2 Gohan at that point. Because after he blew himself up and blew up his whole entire body, he regenerated, and because of the sand cells, bam, it's pretty much a Zenkai boost. So. And when it comes to special attack, you know, I gotta give it to Cell because the Solar Kamehameha nearly destroyed the entire world. Now, I'm not saying Ogre can't give a perfect fight. Even if, you know, even if he took out some of Cell's limbs, it'd still be a pretty impressive feat for what, uh, what, uh, true Ogre could do with, you know, Mishima bloodline power. But, you know... From what we've seen the Dragon Ball Z characters, they do kind of surpass gods. As a matter of fact, during the Majin Buu saga, Goku said that Dabor is not as powerful or scary because they face someone who's at least equal to Dabor, perfect Cell. And, and Cell was a really tough opponent. Remember, Cell's the one who killed Goku, you know, out of all the villains. So, you know, I had to go with Cell, based off those factors. I had to go with Perfect Cell. You know, Ogre is strong. And, but I had, in order to make it fair, I had to add the power of Mishima family to Ogre. Like, after Ogre has devoured all the Mishima family, just to even get there. But it's not even close par with what Cell to. Plus, Cell holds back most of his power. If he would have showed his true power from the get-go, Perfect Cell would have wiped out Ogre ten times over. As you've seen, you know, as you've seen. And plus, remember, when Cell came back after blowing himself up, he became Super Perfect Cell, so he's at least a Super Saiyan 2 level at that point. It could even be rivaled, and arguably, it could even be rivaled, and arguably, it could be arguably said 
that he's technically stronger than Broly Legendary Super Saiyan. Now, from the first movie, not the second movie. Second movie, Broly gets a Zenkai boost. But from the first movie, compared to Legendary Super Saiyan Broly from the first movie versus Super Perfect Cell, I think Super Perfect Cell can surpass that. And you know how powerful Broly is. So, I have to give it to Dragon Ball Z at this point. You know. But, it was fun to do this because they're both characters that are very similar to each other. You know. Considering they both absorb and they get stronger. Ogre eats... He, uh, eats other fighters in order to get stronger and turn into true ogre form. In fact, you see him in Tekken 3 when he eats Haihachi and he gets strong enough to turn into true ogre. That's, you know, that's why I pit, pit them together because they're a lot like each other. Same thing with Cell. Cell absorbs Android 17 and 18 to reach his perfect form. And even then, he still could retain his perfect form after blowing up because of Dr. Zero's design. So, it still was a fun battle even though Cell won. So, let me know in the comments what you think. If you had any more things to add, may the crystal be with you. And, you know, have a nice time.